dear students today we are taking the ts of coriander fruit myself sugave rv from chennavashar pharmacy college latur so everybody knows coriander so coriander commonly we call it is a dhaniye or dhaniya that is the synonym of coriander it's having biological source coriander consists of dried ripe fruits of the plant coriandrum sativum belongs to the family umbelliferae it's our microscopical characters when we take a thin transparent section of coriander as it is a fruit so it's our epicarp mesocarp and endocarp so when we take the transverse section of coriander it shows on the dorsal surface two vitae and carpophore and on a another side it shows the five primary edges and four secondary edges in a epicarp region and in the endosperm it shows volatile oil glands and also shows a calcium oxalate crystal in the endosperm region and it also shows the carpophore attachment after taking a thin transparent section of coriander we are staining the section with the help of staining reagent first we use cleaning reagent bleaching reagent then directly staining reagent we use ts plus fluoroglucinol plus concentrated hcl 1 is to 1 ratio that gives pink color to the lignified sclerenchyma and vascular bundles and ts plus alcoholic picric acid it gives ts plus alcoholic picric acid gives yellow color to the proteins that is aluron grains present in the endosperm region of the section the third reagent we are using ts plus sudan red third it gives red color to the oil globules and cuticle first we take the coriander in a petri dish which is previously boiled and cooled for 10 to 20 minute after getting 10 to 20 minute it gets soft and when it is become a soft it is easy to take a thin transparent section of coriander fruit it is a very tough fruit and it's a epicarp that's why it require soaking in a water or boiling in a water for 20 minutes so with the help of sharp razor blade we are taking the section of coriander fruit take the coriander fruit in a left hand and with the help of sharp razor blade take a thin transparent section of coriander and with the help of sharp razor blade we are taking a thin transparent section of coriander in this way so when we make a cut it shows the whitish proteinous portion in a two parts that is the two mesocarps are there so when we neatly observe it shows two mesocarp which are symmetrical with each other so in this way we are taking the section of coriander thin transparent section we have to take in this way precautions you have to take while taking the section otherwise damage may occur or injury may occur to the fingers so transfer the thin transparent sections with the help of camel hair brush in a wash glass containing water we are directly taking water in a wash glass and we are transferring the section with the help of camel hair brush in a wash glass then with the help of water we clean the section and making the section clear in appearance means we remove the debris fibrous material or any other foreign particles which are present along with the section that we remove and we clean the section with the help of cleaning reagent that is water and we select a transparent section which is complete without break section in a wash glass and we directly bleach with the help of bleaching reagent 
so when we observe the section the section is appear like this in the manuals the color diagram is given in the last year manuals so it shows all the parts in the section epicarp mesocarp endocarp raphi vitte carpophore attachment and oil globules this is clearly seen the carpophore is the attachment of epicarp it's having two mesocarp so that two mesocarp get connected with the center attachment that is we called carpophore attachment that is there in a the center of the section so that we clearly observe when we take a thin transparent section and when we observe under microscope then the section is bleached with the help of bleaching reagent we are cleaning the section with the help of water we remove the water and then we add hydrogen peroxide into it for bleaching so bleaching we uses to bleach the section and reduces the pigmentation from the section and making the tissue clear in appearance so 1 to 2 m 1 ml hydrogen peroxide we add on the section and treat the section for 5 minute after 5 minute remove the hydrogen peroxide from the wash glass and directly use specific microchemical reagent for staining so in this way we deeply treat with the hydrogen peroxide and then we are removing the hydrogen peroxide from the watch glass then we use the specific microchemical reagents it includes fluoroglycinol concentrated as cl then alcoholic picric acid and the last one is a sudan red so this specific microchemical reagent we use for staining process so first fluoroglycinol and concentrated hcl 1 is to 1 ratio we use suppose we are taking the 5 drops of fluoroglycinol so we are taking concentrated hcl 5 drop that is 1 is to 1 ratio we maintain for these two reagents so just place and alcoholic picric acid add 1 to 2 drops then the last staining reagent that is uh, sudan red add 1 to 2 drops it gives red color to the oil globules and uh, alcoholic picric acid gives yellow color to the aluron grains and fluoroglycinol and that uh, concentrated hcl gives pink color to the clear and gamma and the cuticle vascular bundles so in this way you have to treat with the section for 5 minute so that specific microchemical reagent reacts physically chemically or biologically with the section and it impart color to them so after 5 minute take the section on a slide very slowly otherwise that may cause damaging to the section or the section may get break or that may get split so precautions you have to take while transferring the section on a slide then after taking the section on slide clean it with cleaning reagent that is water after cleaning the section with water with the help of camel hair brush mount the section with mounting reagent in a mounting reagent we are using a drop of water and drop of glycerin so here we are adding a drop of water and we are placing a drop of glycerin on the slide so place a drop of glycerin so mix it well a drop of water and drop of glycerin and place a clean cover slip on the section with the help of dissecting needle to prevent 
the air entrapment on the section you have to use dissecting needle and remove the dissecting needle very slowly to prevent the air trap on the section so in this way we are placing the cover slip this is the section diagram it shows epicarp mesocarp endocarp in a center it shows carpophore attachment to vitae raphi and it shows the shows primary and secondary ridges and it shows the oil glands and the calcium oxalate crystals in the section so in this way we are taking the section of corinder after taking the thin transparent section we stain mount and observe under microscope so this is the cutting technique staining technique and mounting technique for corinder thank you